Welcome to War Stories. In this episode, I'll be discussing the Van Nuys Asian Boys. Before the Van Nuys Asian Boys came into existence, there was an Hispanic gang named Valeria Street 13 who controlled that area. Their territory stretched from Cabela Street to Sherman Way between Woodman and Van Nuys Boulevard. The Valerio Gardens was initially predominantly Latino. In the early 80s, immigrants from Southeast Asia began moving into the apartment complex. Many of them didn't speak good English and were persecuted by the Valeria Street Gang heavily outnumbered by Latinos in the area. The Asian youths came together as a form of self-protection within that apartment complex. The Asian boy style gang was born when two teenagers met on the playground of Cleveland High School and receded in the late 80s. Those two teenagers were Marvin Mercado and Salty Man. Salty and Marvin were born of similar means, but in different countries and cultures. Salty Man, whose parents were Cambodian immigrants, came to the US around age seven and settled in Oxnard. The family then moved to Reseda and later Echo Park, where they ran a downtown sewing business. Marvin Mercado, also known as Shy Boy, was born in 1973 in the San Fernando Valley. His parents were from the Philippines and he grew up in the North Hollywood area. He was raised in a middle-class two-parent home. His father was an engineer and his mother was a tax accountant. By the time Marvin reached high school in the late 80s, his parents had grown worried about negative influences. They decided to move from Northridge to Taft which is a small town west of Bakersfield. Marvin's grades were reported to be lackluster at the local high school and later Taft Community College. At college, Marvin was joined by David Evangelista. David was a native of the Philippines and had come to California from Queens, New York. David was a straight A student in high school, as well as a hospital volunteer. And at his first job, he was trusted to deliver gold and diamonds. At Taft Community College, he continued to excel earning straight A's and a certificate of recognition from the California Assembly. But during this same period, David was also getting to start with the Asian boy style gang and slowly started revealing a dark, violent side. For the next few years, Sodi and Marvin built a circle of friends and acquaintances who would make up the Asian boy style gang. By the early to mid 90s, the Asian boy style gang merged with the Van Nuys Asian boys and became one gang, thus dropping the S and replacing it with a Z. One of the Asian boys' traditional harsh enemies is the Wa Ching Gang. Wa Ching is a Chinese-American criminal organization slash gang that originated in San Francisco, California. In Los Angeles County, Wa Ching is located in the San Gabriel Valley, specifically in the cities of Alhambra and Monterey Park. On Friday, December 3rd, 1993, members of the Asian boys went to a pool hall in El Monte, California. The pool hall was a known hangout spot for the Asian boys. Shortly after their arrival, around 20 members of the Wachin gang arrived at the pool hall. Kicker, from the Asian boys, reportedly began mad dogging members of the Wachin gang. He allegedly walked around and flashed his pistol on multiple occasions in an effort to intimidate the rival Wachin gang members. Some of the Wachin gang members left, but a number stayed behind as Kicker continued to mock them. Kicker turned his back for a quick second when he was wrestled to the ground by Chu Yang also known as China Dog. An Asian boy member tried to fire at Chu Yang, but his gun jammed. At this point, another Wa Ching member entered the pool hall and opened fire with a pistol, sending people inside the hall running and screaming. Kicker was ultimately shot five times as he took cover behind the pool table. Chu Yang then doubled back and shot him twice execution style. Chu Yang then fled and Kicker died a short time later. Four hidden surveillance cameras recorded the incident in black and white. Chu Yang was later arrested and convicted of the murder. After the murder, the Asian boys declared war on the Wa Ching gang. As a result, it influenced a number of other gang murders and shootings in the LA area, thus creating a strong feud between both Asian gangs. Back in Van Nuys, the Asian boys began developing a riff with Valero Street 13, who they shared the neighborhood with. After coexisting peacefully for years, these reportedly turned sour. After a Valero Street shot caller named Spider was released from prison, he apparently didn't like both gangs sharing territory and asked the Asian boys to leave the neighborhood. Valerio Street 13 was a close ally with Blythe Street, who had previous issues with the Asian boys. Allegedly, one of the Asian boys paralyzed a Blythe Street member by running him over with his car. Their loyalty to Blythe Street influenced their decision to push the Asian boys out or attempt to. But the Asian boys said they weren't going nowhere, which made things very hostile between the two groups. On April 14th, 1995, a group of Valera Street members were hanging out in front of the Valera Gardens complex. A few members of the Asian boys loaded up with pistols, an assault rifle, and a shotgun, and went on a hunt for Valera Street members. 
The Asian boys then spotted Valerio Street members on the corner of Simar Avenue and Valerio Street. They drove past him, made a U-turn, and then let off a hail of gunfire. Multiple people were struck by bullets. Valerio Street members Armando and Miguel were struck as they tried to open the gated door of the Valerio Garden Complex. As Armando and Miguel were trying to open the gate, a few ABZ members bounced out of the car, ran up, and leashed another flurry of bullets. Marvin Mercado then walked up and shot him both execution style. Valerio Street shot caller Spider got shot in the balls. This was the start of the Van Nuys Asian boys ran a terror throughout the San Fernando Valley. The crime spree that follows is a violent bid to become the most feared Asian gang in Los Angeles. The Van Nuys Asian boys not only targeted rival gang members, but also people they mistook for gang members, as well as absolute strangers. Three months later on July 5th, 1995, Pierre Mercado and David got into a late night altercation with two off-duty Marines on the 405 freeway. The Marines were on their way back to Camp Pendleton when the confrontation occurred. Out of nowhere, Pierre Mercado lifts his hand out the window and fires several shots. One of the Marines was struck in the jaw by a bullet. The Marine that was driving was able to swerve off the freeway. Three weeks later, on August 10th, 1995, Marvin receives a phone call from his girlfriend with information that she saw some watching members at a restaurant cafe. 11 members of the Asian boys then piled into three separate cars and head down to the cafe. They then waited until the white team members left and followed their car into the 10 freeway. They pulled alongside the white Nissan and two ABC members hung out the window with assault rifles and unloaded shots. 17 bullets riddled the white Nissan. Three males died from numerous gunshot wounds. Only one person in the car survived. A few weeks later, on August 26, 1995, members of the Asian boys confronted a group they suspected belonged to a rival gang outside of a Van Nuys arcade. After a brief altercation, the suspected gang members drove away, and the Asian boys followed in several cars, led by Marvin. In similar fashion, the Asian boys then pulled alongside the car and opened fire on the group inside. Oscar was hit and died from his injuries. He reportedly had no gang affiliation. On September 20th, 1995, Marvin and several other gang members carried out a plan to rob the home of the Gregory family. Marvin then stole a car and drove the group to the home. After breaking into the home, one of the Asian boys opened fire. Then Marvin and a third gang member let off shots as well. Mr. Gregory was shot at least eight times and died trying to protect his family. Five days later, on September 25th, 1995, Marvin, several Asian boys, and four women pulled up to a traffic light alongside a car driven by Robinson. Robinson's girlfriend was a passenger in that car. Marvin shouted out a gang challenge at Robinson and his group proceeded to pursue Robinson when he drove away. Robinson was followed to his girlfriend's apartment complex, where Marvin exited his vehicle and fired shots at Robinson. Robinson was able to speed through the parking gate, but was struck in the chin by a bullet. On March 17, 1996, several younger members of the Asian boys attended a party on Sherman Way in the San Fernando Valley. They called a few older members of the Asian boys for assistance because there was trouble at the party with a few rivals. Marvin and other gang members met to plan and gather weapons. They then pulled up to the party. Marvin then casually walked in the party and opened fire on the crowd. 10 people were shot and one was fatally wounded. Before Marvin left, he turned back and tossed a hand grenade in the party. Luckily, the grenade didn't go off. Afterwards, Marvin expressed frustration about the grenade not going off because he apparently wanted to blow everybody up. During the chaos, a task force was created specifically for the Van Nuys Asian boys. Around that same time, an Asian boy member named Q-Dong was going to testify against other members of the gang. He ended up being assassinated in front of his home. Another shooting occurred, but this time under surveillance. This led to the arrest of the main shot callers of the Van Nuys Asian boys. They were each interviewed, but they all kept their mouths shut. The district attorney felt they didn't have enough for a prosecution, so they all were released. Chungin was one of the first Asian boys who was caught and arrested. He cooperated with authorities early on. He proceeded to tell every detail in regards to the Asian boys' crime spree. While Chungin was preparing to testify in 1998, Marvin and his brother Pierre were nowhere to be found. In 1998, seven Asian boys were ultimately convicted for the string of murder. Chungin was granted immunity for his testimony, but it came with a price. The Van Nuys Asian boys sent a hit squad up to San Jose and assassinated his father as he answered the door. Chungin had to be informed of his father's murder 
right before he was getting ready to take the stand. Meanwhile, Marvin and Pierre Mercado were in the Philippines. In the Philippines, Marvin marries into a wealthy family and starts a new life. His wife's father puts him into a luxury high rise and sets Marvin up with an internet business. In 2007, US authorities were tipped off. Marvin and Pierre Mercado were both arrested peacefully and extradited back to the United States. Marvin was able to escape the death penalty, in part because his lawyer argued that he got married, ran his own business, and became a good citizen. During the 10 years he spent in the Philippines, Marvin Mercado was ultimately convicted and sentenced to 10 consecutive life terms without the possibility of parole. In recent time, the Van Nuys Asia boys no longer occupy their territory on Valero Street. Most of them moved out and scattered elsewhere, partly due to the amount of heat they got from law enforcement in the 90s, and partly due to pressure from Valero Street 13, who claimed they ran them out. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.